Today we're going to be working on Gotelant Rodi. We are still in the key of D. So let's go ahead and warm up with a couple of scales. We're going to start on the open D, and it'll be 0134, 0134. And let's go ahead and start that off. One, two, three. Let's go ahead and do that in rounds. So this will be, this is a way that I like to run um, scales that kind of keeps me involved and keeps me engaged, but also kind of makes you think a little bit. So first time through, I'll go ahead and play. Second time through, why don't you go ahead and play with me? So. <laughs> This time around, go ahead and play with me. So, one, two, three. One of the things about your running scales is to listen for your instrument to ring. Uh, obviously we should be in tune before we start everything, but um, when... I can feel that note ring through two of my other strings and feel it ringing in the body of the instrument. Nah. not nearly as much it sounds like a sour note, as opposed to the sustain just is so much better when you're actually in tune. Playing with a drone can also really, really help with that one. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Let's go ahead and run through that way really quick. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to play uh, the D major scale, just like normal. However, you're going to play the string underneath it open the entire time. It'll sound like this. So for the first O, oh, one, three, four, we're going to be playing the G string underneath, and then when we switch over to the E string, we will be playing the newly vacated D string while we go 0, 1, 3, 4. So, <clears throat> 1, 2, join me, go. That will also be a really, really good intro into starting to be able to feel and get an instinctual grasp of those um, of those intervals and also harmonies. Uh, because unfortunately with a self-study program like this, it's really, really hard to get to the point where you are playing with somebody else just because it's usually one person on their own. So uh, let's go ahead and start with Go Tell Aunt Rhodey. Uh, this one is fairly straightforward compared to everything that we've done in the past. There's no repeats, there's no special things. Besides, this one does have the fingerings marked out um, ahead of time. And so if you have any questions on where your fingers need to be, the numbers above are really good indicators for uh, open, obviously the open strings, or zero, obviously open strings, uh, one, three, and four. So this is what Go Tell Aunt Rhodey sounds like. <laughs> Thank you. 
the things to also always kind of be on the lookout for is if you're not in tune, fix it as quickly as possible. Um, on measure nine, when I came back in off of that tail end of the, the phrase, uh, my F sharp was not in tune. Yeah, originally my F sharp was not in tune. I was a little flat, I believe. So from there, uh, just try to correct it uh, as quickly as possible and then continue moving on, but don't let it throw you, especially if you're practicing. Um, so looking at this, we've got basically one line per phrase. Um, that is a complete phrase. Then that is a complete phrase. of the very first line. So uh, actually, no, that is a carbon copy of the very first line. Um, so it's an ABA phrase, or it's an ABA format for the song. Um, <clears throat> really nice, simple, short, easy to dance to, and rather straightforward. So let's run through this line by line, and then we will run through the entire thing. Um, we will run through the entire thing together at the end, and then we can uh, go ahead and move on from there. Measure one through measure four. One, two, three. And go ahead and join me on this one. One, two, three. Five through measure eight. One, two, three. And go ahead and join me this time. One, two, three. through the end. That measure nine, uh, where I come off of the, where I come out of measure eight, and then straight into that F sharp. That's two times uh, while going through and practicing this that I was out of tune. So that's something uh, that I would definitely want to be practicing and working on more uh, to be able to get this performance ready. Just because I've, I've noticed that it's a problem uh, as I play, and I, I keep catching that one kind of uh, being problematic. So that would be one that would definitely be worth practicing um, and really, really getting, uh, really, really getting in tune just because it continues to be an issue. Thank you very much, and uh, I will catch you again soon.